Hi, welcome to this second review video for Miss O and Mrs. Sasex classes. Hopefully this video can help prepare you for the upcoming unit tests that you have and can also provide you some answers for your study guide. So let's go ahead and get started. Our unit is on Native Americans. So what is a totem pole? Let's start with that question. Totem poles were used to record history and legends. And you need to remember that they go with the Kwakiatl Indians. Totem poles can look all kinds of different ways. Many of them had wings and faces on them, and they're brightly colored with different paints. The second term we're going to talk about is potlatch. A potlatch is very much like a potluck. And you can see in the top picture people sitting around, talking, and a lot of times they would all bring a dish to share and food to share. The Northwest Native Americans celebrated by giving gifts and food um, at these celebrations. And again, the Kwakiatl tribe is the tribe to remember. Now, potlatches also included ceremonial dancing, and you can see that, with face masks that look very much like the totem poles that they created for their legends and history. Number three is adobe. What is, an ado what is adobe? It's a material from which pueblos are built. Now, remember, pueblo is a word that can mean a house or the actual tribe, the Pueblo Native Americans. Look up in the top. You can see that orangish clay. And that is kind of a mud that would be packed together. And then you can see the picture of all the bricks being baked in the sun. This is adobe. And they'd be put together to create those Pueblo homes. Number four is Pueblos. And Pueblos are apartment-like buildings that were created by Southwest Native Americans. You can see how um, in the top picture there are side-by-side -side, um, in apartment-style looking things. And then in the bottom picture you can see they're almost built on top of each other. One story would um, house a family and then another family on top. And they would use ladders in between in order to get from one apartment house to the next. Number five is a shaman, and those are a little bit intimidating pictures, I know, but the shaman was a Native American spiritual leader, and a lot of times um, he was part of a religious um, ceremony um, and also was the medicine man and giving um, medicine to those who might have been sick. Number six is archaeology, and these are all pictures from the Jamestown Rediscovery um, website, but archaeology is the study of cultures of the past by finding and examining artifacts. As you can see on the, on the left hand side, they are having to dig very deep in the ground in order to get to that layer that might have artifacts. On the um, other side, you see um, this man is digging out a well that they found in Jamestown. And in the top, you can see they're sifting through the dirt in order to find little pieces of pottery or shell or bones that might give clues about the Jamestown settlement in the past. Artifacts are discovered objects that would have been found um, by archaeology. And you can see Dr. Kelso in the bottom right corner. He's showing you um, an artifact that was uh, found in one of the wells at Jamestown. You can see pieces of bone on the left. That would have been from a human that was buried there. Pieces of pottery, other pieces of metal were also found. The word tribe is um, a basic term, but it means Native Americans who share common culture and geography. I like this map of the United States, and you can just kind of get a picture of some of the many, many tribes that were all over North America. Those that are in bigger or um, bigger font are more of the major tribes, and then the smaller font are some of the minor tribes. And you can actually see the group of people on in the bottom left corner is a photograph of a uh, tribe. And the, the five tribes that we are studying in our unit are Inuit, Kwakiatl, Pueblo, Sioux, and the Iroquois. Number nine is adaptation. And you can remember <clears throat> back from fourth grade science that adaptation for animals, they would adapt to their environment in order to survive. Excuse me. It's the same for Native Americans. Native Americans had to adapt to their environment for food, clothing, and shelter so that they could survive. So as you see, they need lighting, try whale oil. 
Adaptation is changing your strategy to meet new challenges. Need to catch a fish? Try a spear. Need material to make a tent? How about a buffalo hide? Need something to wear? Try a deerskin dress. Shelter is another one um, that is basic, but you need to know a shelter is a type of home where people are protected from the weather. You can see the different types of shelter depending on the environment. In the bottom left, we see the Pueblo homes made out of clothes, uh, clay. You see the Iroquois shelter in the bottom right corner and the Quackiato shelter in the top right corner. So primary source or nah, you tell me. Is this a primary source or nah? Primary source. Is the certificate of marriage a primary source? Yes, it is. How about this American Republic textbook? Nah, not one. How about this PBS home video on empires and the Greeks? It may have primary sources in it, but nah, it's not. So what is a facsimile? Facsimiles are reproductions of a primary source. They're the actual thing in, a, in the form that hasn't been disintegrated or wasn't dug up from the ground. We're recreating something that you would have seen back then. So you can see this cannon at Jamestown has been crafted to look exactly like the um, Jamestown cannon. Facsimiles can also be clothing. This is a Civil War ball up in Gettysburg and you can see um, her hoop skirt and the men's uniforms. All of these are reproductions of real clothing that Civil War soldiers and women at that time wore. This is a facsimile of a plow that's in a museum. It gives you an idea of what a plow looked like in the 1800s. And if you've ever been to Colonial Williamsburg, the stocks. The stocks are recreated, a reproduction of what would have um, housed criminals back then or people who had disobeyed the community laws.